Hi YouTubers, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you for joining me. And aloha to all our friends there on the big island of Hawaii. There has been so many earthquakes, mostly south of the big island of Hawaii. Uh, the volcano child or the child of the volcano as they call it. I just can't keep up. Here is the last two and a half hours of earthquakes. And they just keep coming in and coming in and coming in. Child born of Kanalua, this undersea volcano. Yeah, they had a 4.6 and what was it? Uh, in October of last year, there was a 6.2. About a week and a half ago, an earthquake swarm on the volcano around the Big Island of Hawaii prompted the USGS and the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory to issue an alert about the fresh activity on this undersea volcano. Yeah, remember when they were having the epic swells, which some people were calling tsunamis? Now, a new seismic swarm has started on Hawaii's newest volcano, which scientists believe could be a sign that magma is on the move. Back on the 18th, within 24 hours, there was 32 earthquakes that rattled the Big Island and Jason Waters with 18 measuring over the area, also known as, um, I'm not even trying to pronounce it, it's a, it's a sea mound. So this volcano, called Child Born of Kanalua, the activity began on Saturday, July 16th. The U.S. Geological Survey Hawaiian Volcano Observatory detected seismic tremor marked by pulses of seismic energy every 15 to 20 seconds which was still ongoing and it's ongoing again today now back on the 18th they said that the sea mound currently showed no signs leading to an eruption if the swarm intensifies or changes significantly hbo will issue additional notices because of the great depth of the volcano within the ocean and the style of hawaiian eruptions an eruption on the sea mound there pose no threat to the island of Hawaii. Well, they forget about tsunamis and large waves. Then on the 22nd, which was last Friday, they said the spike in seismic activity detected last weekend beneath the uh, new volcano that's going to form had subsided. Well, now it's back up again. 28 earthquakes within the last 24 hours. And my concern, I don't know what happened there. Everything went blank. Not only for large waves that could uh, engulf people and sweep them out into the sea, is that they would have this area by Pahala, which is part of the slump that I've talked about in past volcanoes along this southern edge, could slide into the ocean, taking everything with it, and creating a huge tsunami that would go all the way across the Pacific Ocean. The Helena Slump is on the southern flank of Kilauea Volcano on the southeastern coast of the Big Island. Some parts of the Helena Slump actually move almost four inches per year, pushed by the force of injection of magma and pulled by gravity. Here on Wikipedia, they have... Um, the directions and the length of the arrows is how much certain er areas has actually moved and you can see down here we got five miles from zero to five miles in 1868 there was an earthquake estimated between 7.25 to 7.75 that triggered a landslide on the slope of Mauna Loa vo volcano five miles north of Palahala killing 31 people a tsunami claimed 46 additional lives. The tsunami that it created rolled over the tops of the coconut trees, probably 60 feet high inland of a distance of a quarter of a mile, in some places taking out to sea when it returned houses, men, women, and everything moved. In 1975, in November, there was a magnitude 7.2. A wide section of the Helena slump slid 11 feet into the ocean, 
widening the crack by 26 feet. This movement also caused a tsunami that reached a maximum height of 47 feet. Ocean pro front properties were washed off their foundations. Two deaths were reported. 19 people re were injured. In 2018, a magnitude 6.9 earthquake occurred on May 4, 2018. The slump moved about two feet. It appears have been preceded by the vibrations caused by a movement of magma in the eastern zone of Kilauea. And in turn, the earthquake preceded further volcanic activity. This could fit into a model of correlation between earthquakes and eruption events described for the earthquake in 1868 and 1975. So here is the location of the 1975 7.7 .7 earthquake and tsunami. These earthquakes are nothing to ignore. Absolutely nothing to ignore. Here I got two monitors that I downloaded data from. You can see we got a lot marked in red. And now it's up to 18 just for this one location. Let's take a look at the magnitudes. Most recent was a 2.0 a 2.4, a 2.1, uh, I'll try and find the larger ones, a 2.5. These are deep, 19.8 kilometers in depth. Um, a 2.7, that was uh, also 19.7 miles below sea level. And there's the 4.3, yeah, you had a 4.3. It's listed as for today, the 27th, but actually I believe that was on Tuesday. And I believe it was either 4.46 or 5.46 p.m. local time. That's it right there. And we'll bring it over. They did not fudge about the size of that earthquake. This one here is the 4.6 that occurred out there at the sea mound. And then the recent data that I pulled, um, like I said, I can't keep up with these earthquakes, but this is uh, 2055 universal time. And you can see long flowing rounded tops. Yeah, this is magma on the move from that volcano that's forming off the southern tip or point of the big island of Hawaii. So the 4.6 right there and the 4.3 are the largest they've had today within the last 24 hours but the Helena slump is not the only area you have to worry about um, they also have and recently discovered a Mauna Loa landslide which extends oh I think all the way out here to where I got the the red line drawn out that was the Mauna Loa slump Yep, the earth is rocking and a rolling. Things are increasing. The birth pains are getting closer and closer together. So what are your thoughts? Put those comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Keep prepping. Please be stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.